Block Block Builder. Hey guys, Block Block Builder here. Welcome back to another video. Yes, it's been a long time. Um, anyway, I know this is a toaster. This is part of the All Spark Assembly Challenge that we've done. We wanted to do another one, so we basically this is Soundwave, and these are this is toast. But basically, this is Soundwave right here, and he's just a big toaster. I was thinking, because with the, this week, this month, or basically just this year is pretty much all Spark Assembly was basically just ended up being um, pick a transformer and then change their alt mode, or you can swap it with another one, just basically just change their alt mode. And I was like, what can I do for Soundwave? And I thought it'd be funny to make him a toaster. So I did. As you can see, he's got, it's on right now, and yeah, he's just, this, he's basically just a brick. He doesn't do anything. And then these can go in here, only two at a time, because the other one just can't fit in there, because there's only two slots. Anyway, uh, for size comparisons, here he is next to Lego Mario, because that's just the best form of scale. I think, and I I think that's I think that's enough for size comparisons. We're just gonna move on to his transformation, and then we'll do the Toasticons transformation because they're the like cassettes. I know it's hilarious. Anyway, so let's get into that. The transform toaster wave or just sound wave in his toaster form. It's similar to his original, but it's definitely like a lot different. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to these sides here. Go ahead and just unplug them. Now you can either take these jumper plates off and keep them in here since it doesn't matter. It'll look better for robot mode. And I mean, that that's how the, it just connects like that. Just they come off because Lego's weird. But just that goes, those will come off like that. Or you can just leave them like this side. So for now, we're just going to put those actually back. Because originally that's how it's designed. Anyway, the sides come down like this. Swing these up. Rotate these bits down, and then you're going to take the um, slider and just rotate that around, and that'll go on his leg. And then this is just going to come, and you can just rotate these out like now, like so. Then you can rotate, just pick him up. He's pretty big, although he's not that big. This, go ahead and pull this panel out, and then flip his foot forward. And then you're going to rotate his knee around. Normally I do that in a much less destroy everything way. Just go ahead and go like that. And then his knee will work properly. And now you have this. So let me just... Actually, no, that's fine. We'll just leave it here. Go ahead and take his gun off. This will become his hand gun. And then you can go ahead and pull this up and flip his head up. Next, you can pull his arms out. And now you're just going to pull his legs upward and then rotate them down. And you can go ahead and rotate this leg around since I put it the wrong way. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side to transform the leg. Go ahead and bend the knee, rotate it this way, fold it back up, open up the foot, and then flip that back up. And now we have him standing, so I'll raise the camera and we can work on his upper body a bit more. Okay, so to transform his upper body, we're going to come back to this side and grab this huge panel and that'll come down like that. And then you're going to take these bits. These will form his hip skirts. So we're actually just still doing his lower body and you're just going to rotate those through this gap. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Just depends on how you get the clearances. But if you just kind of hold it, it's fine. Then you can go ahead to the top of the toaster. That'll come up and you flip these down and through. Go ahead and rotate this panel as flat as you can get it, like so. Then you can lift his body up and then spin it around, like that. Go ahead and lift this panel back up. Got to get his legs out of the way. And then you can come to these and flip them down to fill out the waist a bit more. And that is the end of his legs transformation. Now we're just going to do his arms real quick. Basically just pull them down. Rotate this, spin his hand around, fold his fingers around, and there's one arm. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. 
And there's his other arm. Next, you can just go ahead and turn his head around, like so. And now finally, we're just gonna kick his legs forward a bit to show you. You're gonna take his cannon, bend it at this axis, or just this point, and you're gonna slide this in a little bit, and then you're gonna rotate this part, and then just, this is all just so it gets in the right position and just looks better once all done. So it's like above his shoulder, like so. And there he is in his robot mode. See, he looks really cool in my opinion. I really wanted the toaster to be where his chest is so that the cassettes could come out or the toast. Now for his gun, pull this part down, flip this down, rotate this forward, bend this tile, press that down, and then these two are going to slide together. And then this will slide to this. Actually, just leave it like that because his hand holds it wonky anyway. Plug this in his hand. Turn his hand a little bit. And there we have Soundwave in his robot mode. So now that we have Soundwave in his robot mode, I just figured that we should move on to the Toasticons. They're supposed to be toast because he's a toaster and they just slot into his chest. This one is toaster beak or uh, laser bread or whatever you want to call them, but it's a laser beak. And to transform this guy, you're going to come to the center here, push it around. And this is his head that I just broke off. But you're just going to rotate that around. And there's his head out. These parts come down and out, and these form his wings. Come to the bottoms here. These will become his feet. Back to the top, and this is his little, like, jetpack thing that he has. And you just kind of bend those in. And there we go. There he is in his little bird mode. We'll just put him on Soundwave's shoulder, even though he's normally on his arm, which he can do, but that just looks cool. So, on to the next one. Next, I built Rumble or Frenzy Mold. He's the worst looking bread, but that's fine. So to transform him, just fold his feet down, rotate them out, fold them completely down. Then we do some weird stuff. We're gonna pull this part out, rotate this whole section around, flip up his hip skirt paneling thing, rotate these whole pieces around like that, but no, I did it wrong. You're gonna take this thing, and instead of rotating this piece around, sorry, I haven't transformed this guy in a bit, you're going to rotate his entire assembly of legs around on this piece instead. I can do this without breaking it. I just have not done this in a long time, so it's a little bit difficult. But basically, rotate that around like that. Flip this down. Apparently that was supposed to be rotated. Then you can flip his chest pieces into place. Grab his arms, and these are going to pull out like this and rotate down. You can pull them up like that if you want. Now we have a crumble or Frenchy, like French toast. I don't know, just bread pun names. There he is. And finally, Ravage. Anyway, to transform this guy, you're just going to pull these bits out and these will become his back legs. So you're just going to rotate this like so. Do the same on this side. Then you take his whole middle section here bend his head out. You're going to hold it together because it's very fragile because it's just one stud connections everywhere. And then his head comes out the top here. These parts are going to pull his legs down and then those will become his front arms or legs, I should say. These come down as well. And there's Ravage, his little kitty cat mode. Actually, I'm going to bend this. This will look better if I Rotate it a bit more forward, or just break his head off. That's a, yep, dead Ravage. Now Ravage is rebuilt, as you can see. Little cat guy. And for size comparisons again, he's back. It's Chris Pratt. So yeah, as you can see, he gets much taller. He's a very big toaster boy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these guys. 
Uh, I will show their articulation real fast. Uh, Ravage's legs can move forward and back and go in and out, and then they can bend at the knee area. His neck, like lump, can go move around. It's annoying too. It can rotate, and he can look side to side on this joint. Legs are on T-bars, so they can move around and in and out. And then it also can move at this joint. It's more for transformation, but it can still be used. This part can rotate, and his feet are all on hinges. So that's Ravage's articulation. This guy, his legs can go in and out and like noodle around. He has a knee joint, but he's also got this. So you can get him into poses if you wanted to. And then it's just, that can happen, as I already showed. His arms have like a butterfly thing that you can do, and they can move like this. Or they can kind of go back, and he can rotate right here. Stud friction, you can rotate his like whole arm, or just his hand kind of area. His arm bends at the elbow. He has a weight, he actually has waist articulation, kind of, and his head can rotate. And that's pretty much it for him as well. Because they're just little red guys. Sometimes have trouble standing. Laser beak. Little movable feetsies can go in and out. His wings can go forward and back and flap like this. They would be able to rotate if I used a different part, but they can't right now. And his head can go like tilt, and then this part can move up and down. Now, finally, sound wave. So we'll just get them out of the way so we can look at this guy. His arms, his shoulders are on ball joints. His cannon can do all the joints. His head's on a ball joint. You can do that if you want to. He's got two fingers and a thumb, so you can kind of do some stuff with those. He only has a double jointed elbow when you flip his arm backwards, which is the only way to accomplish his ejectness. He's got a normal elbow there. It just looks ugly this way, in my opinion. He does have waist rotation, but his big giant butt plate gets in the way, so you got to just do this. You can also reverse ab crunch if you want. His hip skirts can move out of the way so that his legs can move forward, which is pretty cool. He has a double knee, but it's really just a normal knee, and they can rotate on both the hinges. His feet are really weird. They're ball jointed, and then they have the out, the, his like ankles are backwards, and if you put it this way, it looks stupid. See? <laughs> But it doesn't really bother me because his feet can still hold him. And they can also forward and back bend. So yeah, that's his articulation. So let's just get them into a suitable pose and then I'll end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these guys and have a great day. There will be links to the other people who did the AllSpark Assembly Challenge in the description of this video. And anyway, have a great day. Block Block Builder, breaking out.